Hi, and happy winter solstice. What is winter solstice? Well, the northern hemisphere moves into winter, December 21st, and it lasts till roughly March 21st, about three months. And the reason I'm bringing it up today, the day after, um, first of all, I missed it, been on vacation and uh, not feeling well, but um, that leads me into the point of why I want to mention uh, the importance of noticing the change of seasons and how to adopt that into your life and into perhaps what you're experiencing or going through right now. So um, I'm taking this from The Secret Language of Birthdays. My mentor um, introduced me to this book, love it. And um, it's describing what winter solstice is, the season of March. Sorry, my dog's trying to get through. And um, basically, the three signs that it goes through are Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And those three signs are likened in human terms to the individual aged 63 to 84. So if you think about um, the span of a life and moving into perhaps uh, retirement in your 60s and slowing down, and listening more and noticing that is the season that the rest of this lovely planet earth is going through um and what that means is uh basically to everything there's a season right ebb and flow and right now um maybe you're experiencing um somewhat less energy than normal or you're getting sick because your body's trying to get you to slow down to uh, become more in line or in tune with nature. Um, and those things are okay and I want you to realize that you don't have to feel guilty for not being productive, not producing your fruit, so to speak. It's not that season right now. So um, try to remind yourself of that. Um, try to start opening your eyes a little more when you're outside, looking up off your cell phone, guilty, um, and seeing what's going on with nature. And that's why I love yoga, because it helps me stop, take a breath, become more aware of my surroundings, become more appreciative, grateful for what's going on um, in this, this lovely cycle of life that we are all part of. And... Um, Trevor Hall has a song that I was just listening to uh, that I love that puts it beautifully. He says uh, the song is You Can't Rush Your Healing by Trevor Hall. And the verse says, Mama, well, she told me time is such a wonderful gift. You're really not running out. You're really running in. A lot of times we want to think our life is ending. Um, right now our dog is going through this this next chapter of his life, this next season. And um, it's really taking me uh, a lot of extra uh, realization um, that his life is not coming to an end. It's going to be changing forms. And he's actually running in. So it says, time is such a wonderful gift. You're not running out. You're really running in. Confusion clouds the heart. A lot of times it's cloudy right now in winter. Things aren't as bright or as clear as they may seem during the summertime or during the springtime when we're blooming. But confusion also points the way. And that's where we can appreciate that yin and yang and that energy and that balance of just like a hunter pulling back the arrow, that resistance, how far back do I need to go in order to propel it farther forward than, you know, the, the pause that I'm taking or perhaps the, the downtime, the dead time where I'm not blooming, uh, so to speak, in that season. Quiet down the mind, the more the song will play. So if we can slow down our breathing, become more aware of our surroundings, we can learn to appreciate this winter solstice. And learn to accept our physical bodies where we are. And instead of trying to always cover something up so that we can be 
you know, blossoming, 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 blossoming. You know, it's a change of seasons. And um, I think if we can appreciate that and can learn to see it more like that, um, we'll tap into that natural energy, that vibration, um, that source within each of us that uh, is just waiting to be, to be exposed, to be peeled back like an onion. So think about that. Um, and however that may apply to you or help you out today, I just wanted to share that. And um, all right, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, whatever you're celebrating, just enjoy that time with the family. Try to practice love. Try to practice acceptance and um, release any judgments that you may have towards others.